Oh my god. Well, this, hey, is my, yeah. this is my bit. Everyone wants That's to know. Com- it's comedy. Everyone wants to know. Are we doing it? Okay. Everyone wants to know if you know, we're obviously going to be Deadpool and Wolverine for Halloween. That's decided, right? No, we're being Kirsten Stewart and the uh, big but- butch lesbian from Love Lies <laughs> Bleeding. Yeah. If you guys get old enough, do you think you would just be gay with each other? I mean, we're like halfway there. For financial reasons. I think about that all the time. It's like, why was I born straight? If we were gay, it would be so easy. Because you guys could get a really nice situation happening and like, you know, maybe like kind of like a frog and toad situation. I think we should just sleep in a big bed. No, two toads. I'm (laughs) sort of like... (laughs) This is a two toad. It would be a very toad and toad, but you would just tandem bike and live together and go to the park and read books. And and then then once every two years, Zach would suck your penis. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, I'm sucking his penis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Talk You're, about things. I'm that... doing it way more than that to you. So yeah, well, Aaron's giving you head all the time. Yeah. But you're gonna have to put you're gonna have to put out once every once, couple sure. of years. To... Reciprocity is fair yeah. play. But look, do you think you would grow into homosexuality? I think we definitely would sleep uh, foot to yeah, head. different beds. I, different I, I beds. snore too loud. Oh, okay. I don't yeah, but you would do different you know. beds with anybody. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. You, you know, you snore. need your space. I, I just snore. I want them to. Not. You would do separate beds as a heterosexual couple as well. I imagine. I'm sort of like assistant boyfriend kind to of. Nina. Yeah. yeah, you know, like like me and Nina. Zach doesn't want to see trap, so I'm no, taking I don't her to trap. Yeah. see. Yeah, yeah see, that's weird. We're like a throp, like a a, a platonic. Throuple. I'm like the platonic. Like anything that's non-romantic can just be tossed to me. Yeah, in boyfriend. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That you're, Zach you're, is the romantic. You're link. somehow the only guy who's getting friend zoned by his friend. <laughs> Like you're in the friend zone. You're the, you're somehow the only straight guy who's somehow friend zone. I'm like the gay best friend to <laughs> You're Nina. the gay best friend to and Zach. And the gay partner, yes. To Zach. <laughs> you're somehow a straight gay best friend to Zach. Which what way we also have Aaron Isaacs on the podcast. We're Welcome. here with Grant and Ryan is EP. Mm-hmm. He's a little EP. Is that he the need, reason he's not on? He needs no, a nap. No, straight up, dude. He's just he's tired and he just needs a nap before mm-hmm. hanging out. Mm-hmm. That's our show it. later. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's coming here later, too. A midday nap, I just it never gives you the energy that you want. No. He got mad at me. No, th- no, there's like a... Like a, it's like you have to. There's like a sleep cycle you need to tap into. There's there is an amount of nap time that you don't want to get into, mm-hmm. and there's an amount of nap time you want to get into. I learned it's like I, four, I, it's like forty minutes, right? This is you like can't. a no. It's it's forty minutes as you. Ca- I think it's well, fuck. I forgot it. This I like knew a, it. This Before is like a baby. Year, I knew a, it. A baby in preschool be like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> a smart baby. There's a, a perfect balance of naps that you want to achieve. It's a TED talk. Yeah. <laughs> ba- it's just a baby TED talk. <laughs> and it's got the little yeah. yeah. He put yeah. in a diaper. Instead yeah. of TEDx, it's Ted Jr. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, when I got sick, <laughs> when I got sick, Aaron did like hang out with Nina as like a surrogate boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Like call her on the phone. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. She just she needs like a little injection of yeah. neurotic I, Jewish yeah, energy. Yeah. She needs she needs one Jewish I'm boy in her life. I'm more stable one. She's like I'm <laughs> so tagging Aaron in. <laughs> Zach is like when he gets too neurotic, he gets a timeout and she hangs out with him. Yeah. Again. Yeah. That checks out. Yeah. He well, I think you guys have different. Areas of neuroticism. You guys are two. Oh. You're kind of yin and yang yeah. of of like. You're more well, chill, Aaron. You're yeah. more chill. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think it's kind of like polarities, and I think polarities are going to switch. Or like like for for a while. For a while, <laughs> I was the more put together one, but I think <laughs> I think that like I'm going to like this go is through everything a fall. we want. Yeah, I'm going to go through a fall, and Aaron's going to have a meteoric rise. You're going to meet me on the bottom. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you're not going to meet Dude, in between. Well, you're it's just, just gonna... You just love yeah. fantasy We're... so much. You're like, I'm bound for a fall and my friend needs a rise. <laughs> only only one kingdom can survive. Yeah, and neither can uh, live while the other survives. Whatever right. Harry yeah. Potter like, that is. We do need to get to the, the bottom of this. Which one okay. of you is Wolverine and which one is okay. Deadpool? So my argument is that I can't be Wolverine because you, you can't describe me as having long claws. <laughs> That's true. Zach, yeah. which we were talking about is... Fingers in the last episode, I think. <laughs> and we've mentioned this before, but mm-hmm. if you're a listener, uh-huh. sure. you know, if you've just joined the past few months, mm-hmm. 
Zach Kagan, good friend of ours. I, we started comedy together. We started comedy yeah. pretty close, yeah. you know. Basically the same thing. Basically, yeah. like, yeah, within weeks, I would say. And, and one, interestingly enough, I started comedy right after I came back from a long European backpacking trip. Really? So, so like, seeing oh. you go on your trip, I just kind of, like, I don't know, I had that kind of nostalgic feeling, yeah. right? But it was, like, totally. almost 10 years ago. So, so, so much has changed, you know? Yeah, well, how old were you when you went on yours? Like, I was, like, 24, 25, something like that. It's a good time to do it. I went on mine a little later, like, 28. Yeah. It's I fine, but I was a little older. Th- I was kind of the oldest yeah. in the keep hostel. In, keep in mind that when I went on the trip, I might have been, like, physically 25, but I was traveling like a 35-year-old yeah. With the man. mind of a 65-year-old. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the body of a 17-year-old. <laughs> and the penis of a girl. No. <laughs> Zach has a big dick. Okay. No, Look, I know. God okay. took his fingers and, and put that girth <laughs> on the penis. Uh-huh. It's insane. I got angry when I saw it at the yeah. rock climbing wall. God circumcised your this. fingers and added it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he does talk like, about my penis quite a bit. That if I can demand apology wait, about okay. it. Wait, okay. Also, Aaron? apologize for saying you have a big penis. You say you talk about it in social it content. It made me very <laughs> upset when I saw how big it was. Very upset. It's like a rocket. God, this, this is so Zach to be like. Be I, this is me? upsetting to me. <laughs> about, <laughs> about fetishizing my body. That was my first. Well, I will always fetishize your body. <laughs> I know. Big penis, big ass, <laughs> small fingers, big complete <laughs> package. Dude, like a like a just like if I'm a rapper, just like. Big penis, big ass, small fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Kagan. <laughs> it's good because they see woman sees his fingers like oh he can't finger me, but then sees the cock. No, like, dude, you can finger good yeah. with those things because oh, really? you don't need to think. You don't women, have to go deep. Women don't want yeah. your finger doesn't need to be in. It needs to just fucking you know be on top. Yeah, well, speak on this, Tommy. Tommy. You know what I mean? I think you could do way I more. Do- I don't think you can speak for all women. You can't in speak that. for all women. And okay, sure, but you can do damage with some nubs. This guy's doing <laughs> damage. So. I'll tell you know you. what I mean? Yeah. I, yeah, I think so. Because sometimes, like, I feel like my fingers are too long, and it's, like, hard. You know, you're like, okay. Mm-hmm. You just get some nubs in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you got to be noodling with it. You're you're, your hands are almost, like, ribbed for her pleasure. Yeah. I, you I, know I like, what I'm saying. I like to think of it more as ergonomically designed. But <laughs> yeah, okay. your, hands, your hands are built to touch a pussy. Yeah. All right. That's a your phrase hands, that a woman dude, has never said to me. You, <laughs> you got to sell like a mm-hmm. vibrator yeah. of your hand. I was going to say, <laughs> your, your, your hand, hand, dude, your hand merch, looks like one you, of those weird no, dragon bro, like, really? Like, stuff like that. Really? <laughs> you go to a sex shop and you have those vibrators yeah. that have like, you know. Yeah, yeah the tentacles. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's, bad dragon. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, dude. You're, you're killing it. All right. So wait, you're not Wolverine. No, I guess. I guess like, so I'm Wolverine. And and yes, you're Wolverine. That makes sense because Deadpool's face is all fucked up. So like your hand is kind of, not your face. But your your hand kind of resembles Deadpool's face mm. without the mask on. What's Wolverine's personality? He's like short and angry, and okay. Deadpool is like taller and he's like definitely kind taller. Of the chill and one, well, he, like. he also owns uh, a, a cell phone company, so that describes you. <laughs> I've been trying to make this joke for weeks. <laughs> that, that, you've been trying to make that joke well, for okay, weeks. They, okay, <laughs> Wait, what's the joke? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The stupid Deadpool Wolverine movie it makes all these self-referential things to all the actors and doesn't bring up a single time that Ryan Reynolds is the owner of Mint Mobile. Like that's that's right material. That's serious. Yeah. You can't joke about that. That's his bread and butter. Aaron Isaacs yeah. is Ryan Reynolds because of his uh, sarcastic, mm-hmm. uh, his sarcastic humor. He yeah. uh, is fluent in sarcasm. Mm. That's right. Um, and you, you love saying fuckity fuck. Fuckity shit. Yeah, and then, yeah. 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 That's, that's your style of humor, right? It's pegged. I'd, yeah. That'd be it. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you mean? In the movie? In the you second mean, the first, one? Doing the first, first one? one? Yeah. yeah. I like, already watched the first I didn't, one. I, didn't, I think I've only seen the first one. They're they're all right. Mm-hmm. Fine. And I watched they're it for exactly one reason only, right. and that's for T.J. <laughs> Miller. <laughs> Dude, that is so true. T.J. Miller, there's like it, it's like a jump scare. T.J. Miller, if you don't like expect him showing yeah. up in that. Movie. I showed up to Deadpool one, and I just said, just give me T.J. Miller. Give me the T.J. Miller cut. Yeah, give me the T.J. Miller <laughs> the Deadpool <laughs> cut. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna bring a lady over to my apartment and open up a DVD, and it's like it's Deadpool, but it's just the T.J. Miller cut. We should <laughs> T.J. Miller commentary. Yeah, if you want to smoke some like weed that's gonna make you feel insane, we should watch this together. <laughs> 
there. <laughs> Smoke some weed that's I, laced. I have so much yeah. CBD. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. TJ Miller, I saw a clip I'm of a him. sexual predator, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel like a bomb, right? If, yeah, if you, you yeah. <laughs> but I saw a clip of him, and he's like, Ryan Reynolds hates me, and yes. I don't understand why. It's because you fucking tanked his second movie a little bit. Like, the second movie came out after TJ Miller was canceled. So, okay. of course, Ryan Reynolds hates him because it was bad publicity. But he was in the first movie though right yeah Yeah, but that was before he was like canceled dude he's like fucking acting he like drops in on shit in new york and is like acting up i think he's always been like i don't know no dude he's had well i'll talk about in the i don't know it doesn't really matter he's just fucking yeah (laughs) well he just like like, tj miller's gonna listen he's like a drunk drug addict right like he's fucking crazy yeah he's just like but he's like was always crazy but he's like now pivoting into like uh, offensive craziness when he's been more of like an existentialist, hu- like absurdist. Yeah, was sort of mm-hmm. his like vibe. So, like nothing matters. I'm gonna uh, dump ice cream on my head. Oh, mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I mean? And it was like, okay, that's he's clowning, I guess. Uh-huh. And now he's like, nothing matters. I'm gonna he, call and, in a bomb threat to a train. No, yeah. And now he's like, I'm gonna show up drunk to this open mic and talk about trans people. <laughs> oh, cause dude, dude he's, he's like on that he's fucking making route. that. Damn. Uh, yeah. what's it called? Like cynical right wing. Dude. Cause it's where move, the fucking, the mo- it's the sure. money. Yeah. Is. It's Especially not Especially if you're canceled and yeah. other things oh, are closed yeah. off to you. Like, people, people like it when you're canceled in that. Yeah. Exactly. It's arena. like a badge of honor. Yeah. And then yeah. you gotta just go deeper. Like, uh-huh. like basically yeah. Adam Carolla, Brian Callen. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 it's, yeah. yeah. These Jeez, people don't yeah. have like actual All of my opinions favorite comics. or. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my, my, my YouTube. The Mount Rushmore. I call it Mount Crushmore. <laughs> <laughs> they're crushing up a pill and putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, he's Deadpool, dude. Yeah, that is yeah, true. You, you, think, you think Wolverine's saying that? No, no. That's I'm Ryan just, Reynolds, man. I'm just grumbling in the background being like, yeah, yeah. I wish I had so that riff. You guys saw this this film? Did you see it? Yeah, no, I didn't see it. No, did you both see it? We, we saw, we saw can it you, together. Can yeah. you give us like a little just movie corner rundown yeah. of it? Mm. No spoilers, or I don't give a fuck. Well, spoiler. I think I think your listener like, would be listeners would be upset if there were spoilers. Well, well there's nothing really to people, spoil. People are so I mean, mad to get oh, like spoiled. You know, there movie. are s- okay, so there are a lot of cameos, yeah, that's and that's so the thing, thing that people are so upset yeah. about. Okay, so like if you're, if you're that, worried, like, skip we're, ahead we're like five minutes. We're not going to go over no. that. Yeah, we won't spoil any. I mean, there's no. But the same way, like <laughs> SNL is just like, what? Alec Baldwin, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, <laughs> jerks, yeah. jerks, I mean, it's off. crazy when he like just shoots someone point blank yeah. in the movies. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. If that that would have been so funny. Yeah. I it, it does seem like there would be like an Alec Baldwin joke in there, but I bet you, I bet you Hollywood's so like they aren't gonna joke about that. They're gonna no, protect it, him. It's, mm-hmm. too, it's too sacred serious. to them. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. But yeah. he, got, he got off. Dude, you know? he sh- yeah. Okay, look, I'm not saying he's guilty of murder or whatever, but, but he I was mean, acting <laughs> so irresponsibly. Yeah. Even if there's only blanks in that gun, you aren't supposed to pull the trigger pointed at the person. Did you see the clips of him? They were showing in court of him being like, reload faster. But it's just like him just screaming at like all the people on set being like, there's no time, reload. And he's like firing a gun off. It's like, this looks bad for, for a guy who's going to shoot somebody in 12 hours or yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, I, "We were so safe." It's I like, mean, it was it was really a prop person, <laughs> oh. non-union firearms. Yeah, uh, and and what, he was yeah. the producer, was like the, the finance yeah. or the lead act. It's like it's it's, it's on him. Show, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah, and they're yeah. gonna listen to him if he's screaming at yeah. them every day. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> There's also that clip he just of keeps him. adding in the script too. He's just like. Please, can my character have a gun? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, and they're like, you don't really need a gun. It's just it, not for, the, it's, you just don't need one. He's just like, <laughs> you're on the toilet in this scene. Just like, I just Those are really his notes, n- 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 notes as a producer. <laughs> He's just like, gun, okay, gun. Gun, gun here, gun there. <laughs> Point it. He's at. like a left guy. He's like a left guy. <laughs> yeah, but he's like an old school liberal who's like, yeah. I feel like he's racist and yeah. shit, you know? He's a, de- he's a Democrat in the early 1800s sense. <laughs> yeah, dude. Where he still wants slavery to be a thing. <laughs> yeah, like, 
I'm a Republican in the uh-huh. 1800 sense, uh-huh. yep. where I yep. uh, chop wood and, <laughs> and free the slaves. <laughs> I love when the Republicans <laughs> try to double dip on that, and they're yeah. like, well, Lincoln was a Republican. Bro, it's like, oh, they come try on to, now. Sure. They try to claim Lincoln. <laughs> it's so Rob wrong. Schneider. Claim Lincoln. I would. I would. Well, you have to. I mean, what else do you have? Yeah. Rob Schneider once tweeted, I forgot what it was, maybe it was a Trump guy elected. He was like, I haven't seen Democrats this angry since we freed the slaves. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He is so Deep cut. The that, greatest. Yeah. Wait, wait. Political time, t- time traveling, Rob Schneider, be like, <laughs> hey, he was there. I it's haven't like, seen <laughs> that. Family Guy cutaway. He would be there at like the Lincoln assassination or something, dude. <laughs> you can free him all. <laughs> dude, oh, that man. just like made my brain hurt. That's what what Rob Schneider said. Right wing. <laughs> Turn. Well, I guess he's always been right wing, but he's trying to be political. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. like, it's awesome. And Adam Sandler's just like, oh, sh- 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, sh- sh- da, rabbi, rabbi. But he still no, puts no. him on the shows and stuff. Yes. I, hey, oh, do, do. I don't Come think on, you buddy. can. You Shut can't burn that bridge. Oh, is, is, no. is Sandler liberal? I Gotta be. No, I bet. Sandler's I think, I think a he's Republican. Like, he's like very. He's not. Right. He doesn't talk about his politics. Yeah. Yeah. No. Sandler is like. He's really just like I- I'm just gonna play basketball. Yeah, <laughs> that's mm-hmm. true. I'm you just know, gonna donate to Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, I'm gonna donate presidential <laughs> campaign. Oh, did he? Rudy, <laughs> I got a little check for you. <laughs> Rudy, and, and support Israel. Rudy, Rudy. Yeah, I think that's probably. Like, yeah, he gotta, probably supports Israel. He's probably a low key big Zionist. Got to be. Yeah, but it's smart Sad to, to not say. make that public because no, because like you're a clown. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's should, really he's yeah. really dedicated. To clowning, He's I love, funny. I love, I, I love yeah. Sam. I love Sam. Right. I mm-hmm. see all of his new movies. Dude, dude, I think he's like a genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also, I, I don't think, think that's controversial think, at no, all to exactly. say that. I, I, think think like, dude, yeah. I think his stand up, when he came up with that stand up oh, special that everybody yeah, was yeah. hating on, like in 2017. What? Nobody, who was hating on Wait, that? That was, was that, that, that was his one? comeback, 100%. though. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Dude, it's, yeah. it's when he sang, is sang that song about Chris Farley, oh, too. Oh, yeah. I, dude, it, it's like, first off, this is emotional. This is funny. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. You get a nice, you get some clips of Chris Farley in yeah. there. Always I'm saying this Sandler special, this is this is Nanette for guys. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, compare what he did to, like, Like, this is Nanette, Bell, dude. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's just silly. It's just his Nothing mind. Nothing but Nanette. What he thinks is funny. He's not pandering to anyone. He's saying a song based on Nothing slow hands Nanette. by Eric. Like, do you remember that? He did that slow hands, like, I am a grown man. Pissing yeah. in the shower. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, who is that for? Like, he's just doing what he thinks is yeah. funny while other people are just, like, railing against trans it, people. Yeah. Like, yeah. He did a joke about, I, you know, I don't even remember how, because I saw it, you know, whatever, 20 years ago, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, just how he's like, and he did the Sandler voice and it was great, but how he's like, when he's eating his wife's pussy <laughs> and, and the, and when you eat a pussy, sometimes the pussy farts a little bit and he's like, oh, but you don't hear it, you know, it goes, and you go, oh, sh- I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, <laughs> this is exactly what I want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He knows, he knows his audience. He knows right? his audience. He's the greatest. And he yeah. also just made it like 20 kids movies. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> when everybody was and like, these aren't funny. It's like, they're for babies. Well, <laughs> like, yeah. And they Sandler, are funny, Sandler, by the way. Sandler, mm-hmm. is, it's my career, which is I want to make bad movies with my friends. Mm-hmm. I want to make critically. Oh, yeah, grown ups. Oh, yeah. 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 I want to make Whoa. movies that everybody goes, this is a movie, I, worst movie I've ever seen in my life. And I go. What are you talking about? It's me and my friends. I got, I got paid $30 million yeah. to do that. Yeah, what do you mean? Me and my friends. <laughs> the check doesn't lie. <laughs> we, got, we got to hang out in Hawaii with my best friends. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got to be with King of Queens and Norm MacDonald yeah. for two months. Uh, well, like, what, what, what do you mean my movie's bad? <laughs> David I Spade love and Chris Rock. It's like, fuck yeah, dude. dude that sounds so fun. I would literally just, if I were like, dude, you're Tommy, your movie sucks, I'd be like, I'm sorry. We were You do not know how good of a time me and my boys <laughs> have together. I got paid for, but yeah. and every decade and a half or whatever, he makes a serious movie that's really good. Like he made that's Uncut true. Gems. Sure. Punch Drunk Love is like top two 
Paul Thomas Anderson movie. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that. I've one. Never, yeah, me neither. Oh, it's, 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 it's it's one perfect. of my gaps. Really funny. Too. It's perfect. I gotta watch that. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a uh, great. Do you guys? Oh, it reminds me of Philip Seymour Hoffman's performance in it, which is just so. When they're yelling at each other over the phone, <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman is so good. Oh, I have he's a, the best. Me yeah. and my me and my brother, we do this joke together from Mission Impossible Three. <laughs> Mission, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Uh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. <laughs> Uh, me and my brother, and then uh, and then Clay, who I work with, who friend of the, you know friend uh-huh. of the pod, the Clay uh, man. Cl- yeah, whenever like whenever we're at work, like and like there's like a woman who's like being difficult, you know, in the restaurant or brother, my brother. If there's someone, if someone's being difficult, we just go. I'm gonna find her. I'm gonna make her bleed. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta wife, girlfriend. So, yeah, I'm gonna find her. Make her bleed. <laughs> I love Jesus not having Christ. seen this. Dude, and, it's the, and you know what I'm talking about? He's talking to through. Tom Cruise. He's, yeah. he's got Wait, Tom Cruise. Oh, oh, he's got yeah. Tom Cruise. I was still yeah. picturing Punch Punch Drunk Love. Mission Impossible. <laughs> Mission Impossible. He's got Tom yes, Cruise okay. tied yeah, up. I have seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then he goes, you know, you know, well, oh, he's such a good he's villain. He's such a good villain. Yeah. And, and Tom's yeah. just like, Tom's just like, you're gonna, you're gonna pay for this. And he's like, yeah. he's like strapped to a chair. He's like, right? he's like yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just like, it's like the opening of the movie. Opening right? of the movie, he's like, yeah. you know, the, yeah. and then they run it back. They run it back. It's the ending, right? And he's just, sh- he's like shocking yeah. him and talking. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. like he's shocking just shocking like, his balls. And, and then stuff. just Philip Seymour Hoffman's just sick of it. And he's annoyed. He's like, you know, we had a wife, girlfriend. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna find her. And he does. And he then, kills her, doesn't he? No. Kills no. Carrie oh, Russell. Yeah, well, let's not spoil Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 3. 3. Dude, but me and Clay will be waiting tables. Since <laughs> me and Clay will be waiting tables. I've, I've only seen the most recent one. That's good. That, that is yeah. a good one. Yeah. A, good one. a woman so will be rude, and I'll just whisk, go. I'll be go right up in Clay's ear, and I'll just go. I'm gonna make her bleed. <laughs> I'm gonna find her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna make her Dude, bleed. Philip Seymour Hoffman and freakouts are some of the best too. He's so He's good. Incredible. Um, have you guys seen The Master? That's yeah. that's yeah. what's yeah. my yeah. favorite. Yeah. All time God, so it was yeah, so yeah, good. It's just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it's so good. Dude, just th- them drinking mm. the turpentine <laughs> the or whatever. Fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. Dude, yeah. And Joaquin were just. Would y'all? Hey, would y'all? Try to master uh, potion? Yes. No. Would y'all take a sip? <laughs> Fuck yes, if dude. If we were in a safe environment. Out, out on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Bro, are you sipping on that shit that made the master that, the master? That Joaquin fucking is whipping up? Are you up? sipping on that shit? Yes. 100%. That made the master fucking freak out? We're smoking unfiltered cigs, swabbing the deck. And we're jerking off on an island. <laughs> Into a sink, yeah. We're jerking, That's basically Andy your Adams vacation is, in a nutshell. That's right basically there. what I did. I blast sun. That's, I mean, I apologize. <laughs> I'm coughing on the podcast because I, like, smoked... Oh boy, not I mean not a pack a day, but maybe a pack every two. Like a lot Damn. of it was cigs are really cheap too. That's man. what you do. That's what yeah. you do in Europe. Yeah, and you can smoke inside too. And like, uh, well, I, also everybody has COVID right now. Like every single person has COVID. So, <laughs> now I'm not just Europe? saying on the podcast. I'm just saying in the oh, world. I just like, got over COVID. Yeah. Sam like, had COVID. Like yeah. Pearl had COVID. Everyone's getting yeah. like, it's going yeah. around. A Western woman is giving COVID birth there. to a baby yeah. right now, and the first thing the d- the doctor says is. It has COVID. Yeah. <laughs> it's Congratulations. It can't Congratulations. have a gender, but it it's ha- got COVID. It has right. COVID. It, yeah, and these Democrats doctors kill the baby. <laughs> yeah, it's born. Yeah, 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 up to up to four weeks after yeah. it's born. That's what they say. That's what all these conservatives are saying. Dude, really? these guys are walking around really thinking people are like, killing babies. Just being like, yeah, that's an abortion. That's, yeah. what, that's what we mean. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Fucking <laughs> it's like uh, the the game when, that when you see like slug bug. It's like, yeah, that's an abortion. <laughs> that's an abortion. <laughs> it's abortion over there. Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> so, uh, that might be an abortion. That might be an abortion. <laughs> I don't know why I'm imagining this, but it's just like the like a, a baby just put it getting put in like one of those like French Revolution guillotines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah just, you're going to the yeah, abortion yeah. doctor and you just hear the yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. or it's just like or it's just like an Italian kitchen. You put it through like a pasta strainer. <laughs> And it just comes out as a perfect rigatoni noodle. Yeah, or, yeah, like the meat grinder. Yeah, you just yeah. put you just put a baby in a meat grinder and make it the perfect to feed us a meatball. I mean, that's veal, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> and then like uh, like Oprah and and Barack Obama are eating there. And yeah, stuff. They're, they're dining. Yeah, that's how they get their adrenochrome. adrenochrome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, Dude be, if they were so- if they were making adrenochrome, mm-hmm. those would be like some nice ass restaurants. Yeah. They would be serving it up in like be so- really <laughs> fancy, like you no, know, like dude, Michelin Grant, star. I think that's season. Three of the bears about that. Yeah. Grant, this is what we do. Okay, we uh, save up all of our money. We go to Washington D.C. 
eat and we open up the baby fetus restaurant. Yes, dude. And when the politicians walk by, we go, huh? Yeah. Come on. Come on in. Uh, and then we got a nice, a fresh we baby. We got a nice, a baby adrenochrome. We're like the guy from the the chef from uh, Lady in the Tramp. You know, <laughs> I got a nice table for you, a baby, yeah. a fresh yeah, baby pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like an umbilical cord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, sir. I got a fresh baby for you. I got you. a fresh <laughs> baby pasta for baby you. Baby pasta. The for, the, for the politicians in Washington, <laughs> D.C. <laughs> they really think it's like... Yeah, we you, go there. Yeah. <laughs> but Republicans really think it's like, kill the baby or turn it gay. Those are what Tim choices. <laughs> Two pads. And which one would they prefer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gay human or dead baby. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Don't forget the uh, thought... Thought daughter or gay son. <laughs> Dead <laughs> aborted fetus or, <laughs> or gay son. Or gay baby. Yeah. Or gay baby. <laughs> yeah, it, like that it. is the conservative. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They're like, that's why I do home birth, homeschooling. <laughs> Dude, here's the thing about <laughs> it would be fun to just be a conservative and just believe all that just shit. Like, like it would shit. be fun. Like, I, do you, yeah. I can't imagine it, but yeah. like, you have to imagine you're just like yeah, getting of course. stoked reading this stuff. Yeah, like, it's how, like playing, how angry it's it's like playing Magic it. the Gathering. <laughs> yeah, dude, for you real. To, you just get to live in a fun little <laughs> world <laughs> where you get. Yeah. You have like the craziest villain yeah. that all you don't have to do anything, yeah. uh -huh. but just be mad and watch TV. Even even that doesn't describe <laughs> a lot of magic players, and, and I not, know. And, and, and not to be like both sides, but like even if you take like a like a hard MSNBC dem mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. like yeah. to live in a world of like good guys and bad guys mm -hmm. is yeah. like that is fun. I think the difference is like the yeah. the the like absurdity of yeah. what the yeah. right oh, of course, believes very is absurd. crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like but it's the same and yeah. kind of um, I have mindset. to explain to my 60 year old liberal mom that like Kamala like uh, or Kamala has like put a million black guys in jail and she's like oh, yeah but Tommy we aren't no. talking about that right now. <laughs> <We> <laughs> but gonna... also keep in mind that like 60 year old white women are like is that so bad? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's and also, crying. also, here's she's the like, thing. I'm listening. This isn't truly a defense of it, but that makes her no different than any other candidate oh, who yeah, ever yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You know, yeah, so no, it's 100%. like, it's that's like never said, really been a deal breaker in the past. Yeah, it's like, like you, yeah you're voting for war. Yeah. yeah. As yeah. a progressive, it's like, maybe she'll be like 1% better I think that's real yeah. Palestine. Maybe. And she, and she she's, might, like, she's like, well, let's not talk about just <laughs> genocide. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be careful with the G word. She's like, I'm, and we're like, that's progress. <laughs> 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 let's talk about how I'm brat. And <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Anyone want more coconut yeah. <laughs> tree yeah. jokes? And she's like, well, let's just say Israel's having a brat summer. Next question. <laughs> she's like, Israel didn't fall out of the coconut tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> is sidestepping very hard on that. Yeah, <laughs> well, what, I mean, of course, well, you that's, know. That's like, the reason. Like, she's, she's probably not going to pick Shapiro, the the Pennsylvania governor, as her VP because he's because he's Jewish, right? And he's like oh, a hardcore it's Zionist. It's not that he's Jewish. It's that he's, yeah. He's a Zionist. He's like, that yeah. might be. Yeah. That like, might you, guys, so. you guys, and I've heard this. I don't yeah, know if we, it's we true, but, I, but yeah. I've heard you guys are Jewish. Yeah, well, allegedly. We're, we're on the street. <laughs> we're on the street as you guys are Jewish. Look, look, the, the allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> And we're here to, you know, we're, <laughs> to inviting you, we're inviting you to Israel. Come check it <laughs> yeah, out. That's right. <laughs> well, we're, we're doing a birthright tour via there. For non-Jews <laughs> that might be Zionists. Yeah. 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 You guys Honestly, are Jews for Jesus. Right? Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, that's the thing. He oh, lived God. in Israel, didn't he? Uh, who? Jesus? Jesus? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he did. Wait, what did you I say? I think he used to chill there. Israel, Jesus lived in Israel. and Back back when it was using yeah. its dead name, Palestine. Yeah. <laughs> We're just Jews for Jesus, but hardcore Zionists. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, so we at, fit in. Jews, <laughs> Jews for Jesus are hardcore Zionists. Yeah. Like those, those ultra right wing. Because like, yeah. they're like evangelicals, yeah. right? Yeah. They, they like want to, they, they want to like. Uh, bring up about the the second coming and part of the like part of the thing in like the the New Testament or whatever in Revelations is that like the Jews need to move back to Israel so that yeah. the apocalypse can happen exactly. right and there's so, like there's a lot of Jews in uh uh like in Crown Heights in Brooklyn who are like they they do plan on moving back okay. <laughs> 
Yeah. At some point. But so this, yeah. this but might they be, won't they won't and, and they won't go until there is like that is it, the coming of Isn't that. it probably true that like Kamala would be more stable than Trump would be in regards to like Israel Palestine? By far. Yeah. Okay, what do we mean more stable? So it's not, well, but Trump seems like he could make it a lot worse, like more worse yeah. than Kamala is I going think, to I make think, it. I think Trump is just going to like give whatever power Netanyahu wants. Yeah, right? like yeah. I think I think he's very aligned. I mean, they're with Netanyahu. hanging out already. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, like they're kind of similar. Like, they're kind of like similar. Yeah, Netanyahu is not po- like popular. In no, Israel. no. Netanyahu, well, he's elected though. Well, yeah, but the thing is, like, he he like had a. Like uh, nothing like, but net and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he had, he had That's like, two. That's yeah, two like, and one. Hannah Gatsby's <laughs> Nanette and Yahoo. <laughs> he, he had like some scam trial. Like he had like oh, like embezzled funds. Yeah, yeah. And like there, there's like you know he's involved with a lot of shady shit. But then like his. His that's like it. pitch embezzling funds. He's that's pitched. the last straw for me. Yeah. His pitch to the Israeli people though is that like you need me. No one else can do the job that's required now, which is basically genocide, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> I mean that's what he's saying. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. that's why he's like, you know, he's used this whole crisis yeah. in order to like push forward to maintain power and yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's like it, wartime leaders are more powerful yeah. and and yeah. more they, they unites the the, the coalition yeah of exactly yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and like that's part of the reason like you know there's been a lot of reporting that like you know he could have negotiated with Hamas to free the hostages way earlier into this yeah. uh, crisis and yeah and basically yep. refused to do so in order to like we need we need to live Moss yeah they don't Thank care you. about like, yeah, Hamas. I want to see that collaboration yeah. with Taco Bell Hamas you know? how about live Moss <laughs> We need to look. Um, uh, we need Has to anybody ever said that? We need to be, yeah, I said it like you I said it? this a long time ago. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the Taco Bell. I'm at the combination Hamas uh, yeah. weapons depot and Taco yeah. Bell. Um, that All right. Okay. That, one, that one we should go. <laughs> we should. Uh, Hamas, how about we live? McDonald's Hamas. is getting boycotted, so Taco Bell should like just be like, we love Hamas. Yeah, and, but Taco yeah. Bell, they're probably Zionists too because they like supported Trump and shit. Oh. Oh fuck! Yeah, I mean, all these companies point. are terrible. Yeah. It's, all, it's all, yeah. Well, yeah, it's all Zionist. Yeah, it's all a freaking scam. Yeah. Did you guys hear Donald Trump said uh, Chuck Schumer joined Hamas? <laughs> 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 he's a, he's a Zionist for no, sure. Right? I've, I've always said this. I've said this from the beginning of Trump's presidency. But like, he's so funny. You know, oh, do not do undefeated. not. I know I do not want. An insane man to be president. Obviously not. I want him so badly to be like king of a town. <laughs> or yeah. like do you know? Or like and you go visit it. It's like the Wisconsin Trump? Dells. Dude, he yeah. should and be there. Like hotel. That would be awesome. And he's like doing speeches all the time. It's like, like a Willy Wonka type. It's guy. like a yes. Willy Wonka town, yeah. and, it, and it's basically just like Israel for like racist yeah. guys. Dude, you know what? And guys is? who want to get drunk and hang out. <laughs> Dude, okay, and then I, was, I get to visit it. It's kind of like you know, it's kind of. Yeah, it's Vatican kind of the, yeah. it's like the Vatican Trump City, Vatican. but you know it's hard to get in. There's no age of consent. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, it's yeah. just it's like lawless. Yeah, it's there's a, no federal law there. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, uh, what's that? Um, to to in Mexico. Uh, Tijuana? Tijuana. It's like it's got Las Vegas vibes. It's got Tijuana vibes. It's got you know the, it's a racist town Dude, vibes. What, what? How about just like Reno? We give him. We give him yeah. Reno. Yeah, we just you give him I mean? somewhere f- so a re- in the desert. Yeah, in the desert. Trump seems like he would just thrive in the desert, yeah. doesn't he? He already <laughs> looks like kind of like a weird old yeah, turtle, he's like a bearded like, dragon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, and you just and then just this just is sunning himself. Yeah. And, and he you know, and he is he is the thing is he. Is is the king? Yeah, what he yeah. says goes, yeah. and we and and, and the he gets ta- a he gets a crown. He gets a crown. He yeah. gets he gets to do whatever he wants. And I'm not joking. He gets this, and our tax dollars fund it. And this is how you keep uh, everyone happy. That's true. The, it's People a, it's would like, move there. It's a contained. Um, His supporters would move there. They, yeah. they move it or they move around it too. It's yeah. kind of like how like the most all the like the biggest Italian Catholics they live around. Vatican we should just City. set him up in uh, like Guyana, like Jim Jones. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. give him like a big circus tent out there and yeah. a bunch of fucking cool bungalows and stuff. Yeah, and, and then he gets you know he gets to come out on a balcony like the Pope, you know, yes. whenever he wants and goes. 
you know, Kamala's <laughs> fucking gay and this is whatever like, this. This is like 15 years yeah, from now. It's like 15, it's like 15 years still from now. Still talking about Biden. He's still, <laughs> he's still talking. Biden's been dead for 10 yeah. years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Biden and Hillary are dead. And he's just I'm picturing <laughs> the guy from uh, Mad Max Fury Road with the <laughs> yeah. fucking, what's that guy's name? <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's, Immortan he's, Joe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Immortan yeah. Joe. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's just like on top of a big like stone pillar. and <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be so or badass. Like Do not yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. not become addicted to the water. <laughs> yeah. I feel like after the election, win or lose, he's going to have a, a cruise. You know, oh, he's going to do awesome. like the Trump cruise. Yeah, no, yeah, like the Impractical <laughs> Jokers cruise, <laughs> yeah. but it's just like all the Trump yeah. people. Like Kid Rock is Kid there Rock and shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's going to be. Coke. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Dude, that would be kind of. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. All this is leading to is a central Trump location. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there's no way around it. Yes. You know? It's they, really just, just give them what they want, you know. They do they want a good time. They do need Who to. Doesn't want that. They do need to be somewhere, and you know. And they're all president. scattered around the country. So, and it's similar, wait, wait. To, similar I, to the Jewish I people. I got an idea. They've been <laughs> scattered in their yes, area, so it's the like diaspora. Why don't we what just are, where are they going to live? <laughs> okay, what are we going to, you know? What if we give them Israel? <laughs> <laughs> Him and Dude, Yahoo. Like, you oh, solve yeah. a lot of little problems. You just make a bunch of white people from rural areas move to Israel. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, let's let's fit in. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah. they're, they're, they're crazy. Everyone, we've been to Israel. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we've both been to Israel. I, yeah, I went yeah. To, yeah. He, you spent like two months I in was Israel. there for two months yeah. in 2007. Damn, that's a long time, and, man. Uh, yeah, I was in high school, and... I actually left, you know, what's it called Jerusalem syndrome, where you go to it, Jerusalem and you think you're like Jesus. Or yeah, I guess so. That, yeah, what? something like there's this. You, thing you, where you just feel like you extremely think that you holy. might be the Messiah, or, you, you or crazy. maybe not the Messiah, but like you have like this really strong connection with yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. I've never feel, heard of. Yeah, this. it's like a, it's just like a feeling of holiness. There's, a, there's like, a Wikipedia page, folks. You want to check yeah. it out? Which honestly, I heard Matt I, Christman talk about it. So. <laughs> Honestly, okay. I don't think that shit's cap. I think there's like there yeah. is something. I think you have to be, dude. It's bro, insane. dude. There is there is something to being around That's, ancient that, yeah. things that yeah. makes that. And, and if you're told, and your there is life. a weight to it, and I don't care if it's made up. It's just you feel the weight. Yeah. If you're told your whole life like this is the holy place. Yeah. You go there. I've been listening to a lot of Jewish history podcasts, by the way. Really? Mm. Thank, yeah. thank you for your support. <laughs> I know. We really yeah. appreciate it. Well, just inter- I've just been, you know, because there's just so much Jewish history in Europe and stuff like that, That's and true. there's you go to so many like, well, just because. Did you go to Poland? No, I wanted to. I, yeah. I think I'm going to go back there. But just like even going to like the Czech Republic, I went yeah, to like the old sure. Jewish cemetery. Oh, yeah. And stuff like that. Because like, you know, there's the a Jews, lot in Rome, too. Yeah. Well, just through every like every through like big uh, empire, uh, like Babylon and, they, they all and Persia the and Rome and Greece <laughs> and every like breakup that happened in the Middle East with Jews. And they all just get like scattered and then they you know and then they kind of come back a little bit yeah, and then yeah. start over and they scattered again so they get everywhere so then so then you're and they always get pushed out in europe so you go to all these places in europe and there's just so much heavy jewish history yeah. italy had the first so get that, that makes a motherfucker t- pick up a wikipedia page it is yeah. it is crazy that'll, how make like, a, that'll make a white boy uh <laughs> that'll make a white boy all, google all through, a damn thing or two all through every empire and war all throughout european history even no matter how hard they were fighting each other they were also like but we're gonna still hate the oh yeah, yeah we gotta, right? we gotta go we're still gonna, <laughs> yeah 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 and they're and, still like they don't yeah and there's just so much yeah, it's just crazy. It's just like we do have to go near Jerusalem and break this shit up, <laughs> and then and then the Jews would kind of get their shit together, like in like two hundred years later, mm-hmm. and they'd be like, "All right, all right, we're we're rebuilding, baby, uh, yeah, another yeah. temple. Let's mm-hmm. go." Yeah, and then the like, Greeks would yeah, come around yeah. and go, "Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alexander the Great is like, <laughs> Alexander the Great just fucking go kill fuck them, yourself, do them, and then like the Romans just didn't, they didn't yeah, fucking just yeah. knocking the blocks over dude, they every didn't time. A chance against the Romans. Oh, they yeah, had some, dude. they had some wins though. There's some wins in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. they took over after after yeah. the death of Christ. There was like a, a, a successful revolt. There was a bit. Yeah, you guys was, had was a good that, uh, yeah. David or uh, I forget the name. There was a there was a like messianic. Uh, David figure. was leading. No, that that wasn't like King David, but there was a like Jewish revolt in Jerusalem that took over for a while and then yeah. Rome came and crushed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like what led to the destruction of the temple. But it was a lot like Rome too okay. in the sense that like, uh, and then and then obviously like so many different sects of Judaism got like pushed out into Europe and there was like, you know, peasants and stuff like that mm. and like that, that was going on. But uh, it, similarly to Rome, there was like bad leaders. 
that just like tanked the dynasty. Mm-hmm. You know, I blame the Jews <laughs> essentially. Yeah, yeah, just like so bad, bad Jewish leaders that were just like yeah. Some guy just spends all the monies on like hookers and blow. No, dude, and he's there, like, the there Jews, was like hook, dude, there the was Jews no, but there was like this. hooker like lo- leaders like when they when hooker they were like leaders hook, what? like no guys who were like into like hookers um, and spending yeah. money. What's the Rome, uh, Caligula? You know, no, but there was that, but but for uh, just for, like for, a, the Jews? for Israel, okay. yeah, just like in yeah, there was like uh, like those guys who. Like uh, oh, so you're wait, saying wait. they were pretty much as bad as the other the Romans? Well, everyone, <laughs> everyone, everyone's it's everyone's like you know, these are ancient times. You're, you're telling me that the Jewish people did not manage their shit well, <laughs> in the yeah in that era. Well, okay, uh, uh, this like is no a, one. Was. This is, a, yeah. this is a, a group of people that like got got together and were like we should try to have a country, and there, this was a novel idea, like yeah. in like nineteen in the. In the 20th century, right? Yeah. They're like, what if we tried to do this again? That, that was mean like, like pre World yeah. War II Zionism. I'm talking about like, you know, but like, also uh, like, Herzl, but, but also Herzl, like Jerusalem right? was like just the, like the father of that Zionism. Hero, yes. But like, but like before <laughs> that, like, okay, I think the Jewish, like, I mean, look, I'm not a Jewish scholar, right? But I think that, uh, yeah, dude, I, I listened are. to three podcasts and read two Wikipedia articles. <laughs> And but I'm like, like, I'm ready to go to a college campus and teach a lecture. I, I, I think like the Jewish I'm ready to tear down a settlement <laughs> protest. I think the Jewish like mindset post in post the diaspora was like really just like their perspective on what it means to be Jewish like fundamentally changed, right? Because before oh, sure. the diaspora, it was all about well, there will be a messianic figure that will you know give us give us a state, right? Yeah. And then after the diaspora, that was like basically shown to be untrue. And so then it became about <laughs> what's la- going on, Aaron? I'm so angry. Go what? Ahead. Go ahead. No, just go. All right. Well, what do you have to say? I don't have anything to say. I'm just, this I don't is want to be talking about bullshit. this. It's yes, of course it's bullshit. Who cares? What? Just like the history itself? Yeah. Well, yeah. just the year. Just every- believing that you need to have a country and stuff. Yes. Or, like, like I went to Israel yeah. I had like the opposite of Jerusalem syndrome, where I was like, "This is horrible." Like, this well, okay. Is well, I thought you said you were feeling. No, I had the opposite. I was there, and I was like, "What is wrong with these people?" Like, oh. I, one of my teachers was like, "The Israel-Palestine conflict would be solved if every Jewish person in America moved to Israel." And I was like, "I'm not fucking moving to Israel." Why would that? Your, yeah. Why, what do you, Israel? Why would that? Kind of like manpower. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, like it. Well, no, it, it doesn't make sense. Oh, and to, take, to completely yes. take over. Oh, that's so insane. Like, it's, all, it's all about that's demographic insane. politics because there is a, like, th- this is, okay, part of the reason that there is no one sl- state solution, right, is because that if you were to combine the populations of the West Bank and Gaza and the populations of I- the Israel that it exists now. The Jewish population. The Jewish population if you made them full citizens and gave them human ha- rights. Have, then, then it would be a, there would be, in a, a few majority, de- there would be a majority of Arab population, or right? at least, at least not like a super Jewish majority exactly. that yeah. they have now. They told me this as a child. I'm like, I'm supposed to so, support that. Like, so much of Israeli politics is engineered in order to make it so that a Jewish voting bloc is dominant in Israel. Right? Yes, mm-hmm. uh, explicitly yes. in yes, yeah. <laughs> like it, it, having it. That's it, that's like what the entire like. Thing is balanced, yeah, exactly. right? Like right. it it's, it's a it's a false <clears throat> premise because yeah. you can't have. It's not a it, democracy if they can't exactly. vote. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, I mean, uh, but it is the only democracy in the Middle East, which is a lot. People, one, it's not a democracy. Two, other <laughs> countries have elections. Like, yeah. What? So do the but uh, Palestinians can they vote? They, uh, they can't okay. vote, can y- they? If you, there are Palestinians that live in Israel <laughs> that can go to vote. the voting booths and be like. Yeah, I'm right in Hamas. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did. A, they, they, like, oh, Hamas yeah, is yeah, elected. Yeah, they, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Were, they, they were elected, elected in Gaza. about 20 years and ago. And they, they didn't something. have any yeah. elections after that anymore. Imagine, or? like, a Hamas debate versus Netanyahu, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like, it's like eight, it's like eight guys in, like, pajamas. <laughs> it's like eight guys in, like, pajamas with, like, like a parachute and like like a like a like, an, like a paintball gun. And like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. so, so twenty years ago, <laughs> Sorry. they had elections in in Gaza. Yo, I keyed, I keyed. <laughs> I don't, okay, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't understand the, the pajama part of that. Yeah, well, they're just they're like chilling. Not, they're, they're, they're yeah, they're, chill, they're chilling. They're yeah, they're not uh, well equipped. Okay, yeah. they don't have the. Uh, <laughs> 
the funding uh-huh. that one party does. <laughs> the chutzpah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they're very, uh, they're very, uh, you know, small business. <laughs> yeah, Netanyahu's always in a suit, so yeah. you, you have to like yeah. that. They're like right? a mom and pop shop army. A lot of flowy clothes, a lot of sandals going yeah, on there. Yeah. yeah, you know, they just don't have a lot of cash. They, just have, they don't have as much money for mm-hmm. weapons. Is what yeah. I mean. <laughs> Not according, not general. according to Israel. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I'll go, look, according to Israel, yeah. these are the richest guys. They that, spend that are, all their funding uh, on, on weapons, weapons and, they keep and them under a house and yeah. don't use them to take it, like take yeah. over. To, to, be, to be free of, they they sure did use something on they did. October seventh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, look. just just seeing a guy come in through the mountains on a parachute, like. This is the best army I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, like the fan man. Like, yeah, just like, yeah, just like, <laughs> yeah. He's just dropping. there, like, oh my, what are we gonna do? Just like a guy with like a like a like a like a, what, like a Colt forty two, whatever, <laughs> yeah. like gun, just <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, just like just like a handgun, yeah. just off a parachute, just like, <laughs> and then he just like keeps blowing over, <laughs> like he can't concert. land right. He's they're like, is this in. part of? The, they're doing like aerial. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. They're doing. <laughs> Hamas basically <laughs> dropped him. Like Fortnite. Like, <laughs> 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 and they rode it through on the battle bus. Dude, dude, yeah. They were like, when they were like training for the attacks, they were like showing Fortnite clips. Yeah. And they're like, this is what you need to be You doing. gotta find the chug <laughs> And Fortnite has concerts too. <laughs> this, is like, this is like our most controversial yeah, episode. Dude, this Why is definitely gonna piss this? some people off, but. All right, yeah. Uh, well, well, like, I don't we, know. We did not even save it for Kagan the Patreon. has a disgusting <laughs> anti Israel joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That, you, obviously, you obviously, if you're Palestine. I wrote the, I wrote the punch. Obviously, if you're we're, Palestine. We're all we're in all, support of yeah, Palestine. All, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, free Palestine. And, and, uh, I like how we say that after like 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just making fun of Israel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're making fun of Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not one good thing about Israel. By the way, I do support Palestine. I support Palestine. You have to. And but when, also... Release the hostages. And, and if my mom is listening, it's very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, one is equipped to ever yeah, talk about it. Listening to this. Yeah. No. Does she? Does she track your your no. appearances? She's loading a gun. Listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, uh, uh, we're gonna hop on over to the Patreon. Okay, yeah. And sure. I need to go make the list. So you guys just. I'll be back in like ten or fifteen minutes. Okay, but you guys sure. just keep okay, going. Okay. Can you grab right. me another beer, brother? Yeah. Okay. No, we can chill. Just uh, keep podding. We're just gonna keep podding. Uh, honestly, I oh, should. should I, can I do some like little plugs here? Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug. Okay. Yeah, before we go well, I just want to say I have a I have a sh- free show called Fishbowl, oh. and I think I think we are. What? Why are you mad? <laughs> Shut up. We're, we have another show. Fishbowl. The premise of the show, I do it with a very funny uh, local Jew, a fellow Jewish comedian. Lucy, fellow Jewish anti-Zionist. Comedian, Lucy Beer Shank. Uh, it's a, a free comedy show at Sisyphus Brewing. And, and the premise is that com- comedians, comedians, why did I pronounce Comi, it like that? Yeah, the, Ka- Ka- Kamala, Kamala Harris, Harris Kamala Harris. Uh, uh, they swap material and they do each other's material. It's a super oh, fun show. Yeah, I've heard really good things about it, this. It's okay. I've never seen a show that uh, the comics watch the sets more intently than the audience. Oh, wow. Because everyone wants to see how like other people are going to perform their material. Yeah. Or like, you know, they've heard a set a million times from like one comic, but then it's yeah. like, like seeing. Seeing Pearl do Ryan's material, yeah, was just oh, like that was incredible. really funny. Yeah. So, uh, our, our, <laughs> it was insane. Like that was actually. That, like, I think it was a highlight of like my entire year. Wow. Uh, was, I think yeah. our, our next show I think is going to be on August twenty first. Yeah. Put it in the calendar. So put it in the calendar. calendar. August twenty first, you guys go check it out. Aaron, do you have anything, man? Aaron, Aaron's gonna be with Zach. So yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm there. doing open mics around. Uh, you catch him at Hopkins. Yeah, catch me at the Hopkins <laughs> open mic. And My yeah. buddy Ronnie Shorts. Shout out to Ronnie Shorts. He's the new Kagan. And and next year in Jerusalem. Next mm-hmm. year. In Jerusalem. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. You guys are going to hop on over to the Patreon. We're, uh, we're honestly going to continue to talk about uh, probably Jewish history. Dude, I, no, I want to talk about your trip <laughs> to Oh, to yeah, we're gonna, let's talk about my trip to Europe, and then let's. I want to talk about your trip to Europe, yeah, exactly. too. I also, wanna I want to hear about your two months you spent in Israel, man. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, like, just spending, going outside of the country. Yeah. And it's, it's super interesting. Any resp-